Okay guys, so this is the meet the owner video uh, for the 1972 Mercedes 350 SL, except uh, Adam isn't actually the owner. I'm not. Uh, so the owner of the car is uh, uh, a guy named Paul, um, who he sold a e barn find E-Type uh, series. Series two roadster. Series two roadster. Um, but Paul is quite a private chap and camera shy, and so he didn't want to come on the camera. Um, so we're just driving the car now to do the meet the owner video, and Adam is going to play the role of Paul. Yeah. He's talked to Paul about the car. He knows all the details, and so I'll be asking Adam about the car so that you guys can learn a bit about it. So Adam, yes, uh, tell us how long has Paul owned this car for? He bought it in September last year. Okay. Yeah. So. Yep. Not, uh, not quite a year yet. Yeah. And where did he buy the car from? Uh, he imported it from the US. Yep. Um, he bought the car for one sole purpose. Yep. And that was to go to Le Mans Classic in this car. Okay. So Paul loves big engine, V8s, convertibles. Yeah. His American man, cars as well. American cars he loves. Um, but he's got a bit of a soft spot for the SL and the 107. Yeah. Like I have, I love this car. I think it's a great car. Yeah. Um, so yeah, he was going to take this car down. Um, as you just said, he's got E-types and we've sold some for him. Yeah. Uh, and what came up in the meantime was a Series 1 convertible um, in red and he had the opportunity through a contact to drive that car actually on the Le Mans Classic track. Mm. Yeah. So, you know, it was really a, a no-brainer decision, wasn't it? Yeah. You know, so, unfortunately, this car never made it to Le Mans. Yeah. Um, not that it broke down or anything. No, <laughs> no just that he didn't. He decided not to take it. Yeah, he, yeah. he just decided not to take it. So he got it MOT'd and um, registered and everything in April this year. Yep. Uh, he's done a bit of work to it uh, himself. So mainly around the ignition. So he's replaced all the service components of the ignition. Okay. So that's like plugs and leads and so on. Yeah, yeah. Um, and he's got it running really, really lovely. Yeah. Um, you can see from the on the road video that it starts on the button. Yeah. Hot and cold. Hot and cold, yeah. yeah. So I did the consigning on this car yesterday. We started it from cold and it was amazing, you know. Mm. It was it was it was there on the button. Really, yeah. really lovely. Yeah. Um and actually I actually borrowed it for yesterday or the day before after the afternoon. Yeah. Um so after consigning it I was gonna take half a day off. And uh, I said to Paul that I was going to go down the Cotswolds, I was going to take a 911. Mm. Um, and he said, well, why don't you take the SL? It's a nice hot day. Yep. So I went, yeah, all right, I'll take the, I'll take the <laughs> SL. Um, so put the roof down, I put 50 quid in petrol, and I had a most beautiful experience driving down to the Cotswolds. Yeah. It was a perfect, perfect, perfect car for it. Yeah. Thoroughly enjoyed it, didn't miss a beat. It was about 26, 27 degrees. Yep. Um, Oil pressure was rock solid, temperature was rock solid at 175, um, and just wafted down in sheer comfort. Mm. Really, really lovely car. Cool. So much so that if this car does not sell, then I've got to, I'm going to probably buy it. Yeah. It, is, it is really, really lovely. And so, um, obviously, Paul bought it with the, intent to, with the intention to take it to Le Mans, yep. uh, but he didn't. And so now, what's his reason for sale now? Um, well, just because he's got so many cars. Yeah just needs to sell this car. Paul's like us, He's, he runs out of garage space quite quickly. Yep. Um, so yeah, and, and really, it's undercover outside at the moment. Yeah. You know, I know it, it's nice weather and everything's fine, yeah. but when we start getting to the winter, this car really now needs to be undercover and looked after. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, I mean, the good thing is Paul's not a greedy guy. Um, uh, the reserve price of this car is actually the, the total price of it imported. Okay, um, all right. So, yeah. you know, really, if it goes more than the reserve, then it's a bonus for Paul. Yep. Uh, but he's not looking, you know, he just wants his money back on this yeah. car now. And he wants to move it along so yeah. that it's looked after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All right, yeah. okay. Well, thanks for that information. Oh, well, there's some other stuff, though. Oh, what is there's there? some other stuff, yeah. Okay. So, Paul um, was talking to me about the engine in this car. Okay. So, this is an American car. Yes. It's only had two owners that Paul can trace in the US. Right, right. So, one person was in California. Yep. Um, they had it up until I think the mid 90s. Yeah. They sold it to another person. Um, but uh, so importantly, it's only two owners, which is really good. Yeah. If you have a look in our history file, the service stamps is like every service stamp. Right, you right. Know, okay. It's, um, 
really, really good service history. You don't yeah. generally get that with imported cars. Yeah, yeah. So history is really good. Two owners in the US. It's the four and a half litre engine. Yep. So even though it's the 350, um, four and a half litres in the early years, because this is, I think this was in the first year of manufacture of this car, yep. uh, they were four and a half litre. Mm. So you get that nice big proper four and a half litre V8 engine. Yeah. And you know, it is really, really great. The kick down works, everything is like super good on this car. Yep. Um, just driving it now, we're um, doing about 40 miles an hour. I was up to about 70 miles an hour yesterday. Yeah, yeah. There was no knocks, nothing from yeah. the suspension. We'll talk about more of that in the uh, on the road video. Okay, yeah, yeah. we'll do that then. Thanks, yeah. cool, Raj. All right, yeah. and then, uh, so yeah, more videos in the listing. Yeah. Have a look at the history, you know, very important for this car. Uh, it's done 129,000, yeah. Um, but as Adam said, uh, majority of that, <laughs> oh, bless you, me. Adam. Uh, the majority of that is with one, was with one owner, and it's a two owner car. Yeah, yeah well, pretty Paul's much in America. Owner, yeah. Paul obviously has had it, but he hasn't really used it much. I think we said um, uh, in the listing he's put maybe 400 miles on it. Um, yeah. You know, just a couple of trips in the car. Yeah. There uh, is a slight issue with the odometer, yeah. and it's only happened in the last couple of weeks, yeah. um, where it's become intermittent. It's actually working at the moment. Yeah. Um, when Paul noticed that that had happened, he reckons he's done about 400 miles uh, further on. Yeah. So um, it is something that would need to get solved, but you know, it's only just started to happen. Cool. Okay. All right. Right. Thanks a lot, Adam. Yeah. Cheers. Cool. Thank you.